A lot of people ask me about the difference between Airtable's page designer block and Formstack documents. Why would you use one over the other? What are the advantages or disadvantages? So in this video, I'm going to be going into detail about the big shortcomings of both of the softwares so that you can make the right decision for your document creation. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I'm the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest and you want to learn more about how we do that, don't miss out on our free Airtable crash course. It will get you up to speed quickly and easily in Airtable and check out all the different other services that we've provided for you on our website. But without further ado, let's just jump into my screen here and talk about Page Designer Block. Now, if you're not familiar with it, Page Designer Block requires that you are on an uh, a pro plan for Airtable and that you can build these documents inside of your database. So right here, I have a very simple database. I have contacts, so some names here, some, and we have a linked relationship to sales info, and we've got a checkbox. And then dropping in on the sales info, you know, we have uh, the name or the ID of that particular sale, obviously the reciprocal of the linked relationship. So if a contact is connected to sale, sales are then connected to contacts. And then we're able to look up the consent here. And uh, let's bring in something else like an amount. And we can do a, you know, like a currency here. And we can put some, you know, dollar amounts to these sales. So pretty high level, nothing too crazy here. What we really want to talk about is automation or rather document creation. So page designer block is one of the blocks in Airtable. It requires that you have a pro Airtable plan. We've done a lot of videos on the page designer block. So if you want more tutorial or more in-depth information on the block itself, do check those out. But when we set the block up, it'll come in like this and we can pop open the settings. And the thing to know about the block is it can only look at one record at a time. And a record in Airtable is a row of data. So that means you have to assign it to a particular table and then it can only look at one record inside that table at a time. Now that being said, there is a little bit of a workaround to where you can actually see multiple records. And the way we do that is by linking records to the record we're looking at. So for example, here we have the contact of Martha, right? And Martha's connected to two different sales uh, you know, sales records. So we can actually see both of her sales records if we're looking at Martha as a contact because the sales records are connected to her. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and build a, you know, a page designer where we bring in that information. So let's edit the layout here. And you'll see that we have the ability to bring in any of the fields that relate to the contacts. So on the contacts table, we've got name, we have that linked relationship to sales, and then we have consent. So if you want to see other records, what you can do is bring in those linked relationships. Now you can size them around, you can uh, add additional columns. So if I want to bring in not just the, the transaction, but also the amount of those transactions, or maybe um, also the name of those transactions. Oh, I already had that, forget that one. Uh, is there something else on here? Yeah, I can bring in the contact. That's redundant because we already have the contact information up here. But you see that it, it allows us to add additional information to this page designer. Now we can also sort the records, you know, put them in a certain order, uh, and you know, we can also resize this. Now this is going to take me to one of the things I don't love about Page Designer, and it's not incredibly dynamic. So if we wound up having Martha connected to, let's say, like 50 different transactions, only about 10 of them would fit in this box, and then all of a sudden we would just lose the rest of that data on our Page Designer. It's not dynamic, and it doesn't flow with an expanding amount of data. And so that is a big limitation, in my opinion, to it. That being said, if you know every time that you're going to have only one or two records linked, then you can easily work around that. Now you can also, of course, you know, alter a lot of things like the heading style, uh, the row style. So there are a lot of different things that we can uh, adjust here. But one of the other things I don't love about Page Designer is that it doesn't work quite like Word. And so, you know, I don't know about you, but me personally, I'm most comfortable in Microsoft Word for document creation. And it just, 
you know, each of these things that we add to this is its own element and it makes it a little bit difficult for me to make edits and changes as I need to, just because it doesn't all work as one fluid page. Now, one other thing that I wish that Page Designer did but it doesn't do is it doesn't allow us to have a dynamic size in the page itself. So when we set this up, let's go into the settings, we choose the size of the record. And in this case, you know, of course, we can build a custom page design. It could be a very long, skinny page, but it might not always be used. In some cases, you might be putting together a document that has a flexible amount of pages. Maybe it's two pages, maybe it could be five pages, depending on certain conditions being met. Page Designer doesn't flex with us very nicely. And that will take me to the third or excuse me, fourth thing that Page Designer doesn't do, and it doesn't allow us to have any kind of automated process with the creation of this nice page design. So if I wanted to, for example, create um, a PDF of Martha here and add it to Martha's record or email Martha a copy or anything like that, I can't do it with the Page Designer in any kind of automated process. If I wanted to do that, I would have to do as follows. I would have to first create an attachment field inside of Airtable. I would then have to print this. I would print it as a PDF and save it as a PDF. Let's go ahead and save it. And I can just put it you know, on my desktop, for example, that's fine. And then from there, I can grab it from my desktop and drop it into the contact in my database. Now I have a copy stored in my database, but you can see that that was a very manual process, nothing automated about it. Now lastly, my, my last small complaint about the page designer is that it doesn't do anything for us in terms of signatures. So it's a great way to get a quick visual representation of a record that lives in your database. But if you need a dynamic, a dynamically sized page, that interacts with you, your team, or your clients in some sort of automated fashion and or requires some sort of signature, uh, this is not necessarily the best option for you. That takes us to Formstack. So Formstack built a block with Airtable and they thankfully do offer in their software all the things that I was describing. So inside of here, you can see just, if I were to just look at an example, inside of Formstack, this creates this uh, file every time based on parameters being passed to it. We can integrate it with Airtable. There's actually a Formstack block that allows our Airtable database to instantly create a document in Formstack, put it right back in your database. You can also set it out, send it out for signature, so thereby getting past that hurdle, and it's a dynamic uh, dynamically uh, sized page. Now, the only thing I don't love about Formstack is the price. Formstack is certainly an expensive software for your average small business, but if you are a very document heavy uh, company, then the amount of time that it will save you is honestly a no brainer. Uh, I think for the majority of our clients, we're seeing an average of, you know, thousands of dollars saved every month. And so it's not that hard in that case to cough up the, you know, the, the fee for the form stack software. But if you only generate one or two documents for your company every week or so, then it's probably in your best interest to stay within Airtable's page designer. It's a lot easier for you to just manually create those documents and upload them as I demonstrated here. As always, I hope you found that to be incredibly helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, we've put together a lot of resources on our website. We offer a free Airtable crash course that will be delivered to your inbox and get you up to speed quickly and easily with Airtable. And if you're looking for something more complex, we do offer hourly consulting and courses and full-blown development. So swing on by and let us know how we can help you further. Look forward to hearing from you soon.